One of the keys to becoming wildly more productive is understanding what I call the trichotomy of returns. Okay, super, super important, especially as your business grows and you wanna control the things in your life a little bit better and really monitor the energy, the input, and, and continue to get high returns, right? You want, you want a lot of output for the input and you really have to understand, again, I call it the trichotomy of returns. And what that is, is there are three different buckets. Like if I'm gonna do something, I place it in three different buckets. Okay, that's proportional returns. The returns are proportionate to the amount of extra work we're putting in. So we double the work, we get double the return, right? That's not super common, but I'll break you through, or I'll, walk, I'll break you through, uh, break down some examples, okay? Disproportionate returns. That's where we put work in and the return is disproportionate. It could be favorable. We might put double the work in and get 4X the return. We might put 10 times the work in and get marginal return. Now, marginal return is still a return, so we have to understand that, right? This is what I call a binary, a binary return. We either get one or we don't, right? I'll walk you through some examples of this because this is where this is where people are wasting the most energy. And when you get that time and energy back, again, you can be more productive, more profitable, less headache, more bandwidth, stuff like that. Okay, so proportional returns. Not super common at scale. Uh, a good example would be uh, if you're an hourly employee, if you make $10 an hour and you work 20 hours and you double your time, right? You make double the money. Now, if you get into overtime, you might have disproportionate returns. You actually get paid over and above the time you're putting in, right? Compared to the baseline. So proportional returns, it simply means when we look at it, if we double the effort, we're going to get double the returns. That almost never happens at scale at business, right? If we double our ad spend, we don't get double the revenue or we'd all be filthy rich, right? Um, you know, even if we're out picking apples and we spend two hours, we get all the low hanging apples first. And then as time goes on, they get harder to reach, harder to find. If we double the amount of time we spend, we probably don't get double the apples. It's disproportionate returns. Okay, so it's really important to identify that's not gonna happen often, but you need to know the cool thing about the proportionate returns is it's it's predictable. If I spend twice the time, I get twice the, the return. Cool. Uh, disproportionate returns, they can be favorable or unfavorable. In the apple example, they're unfavorable. The more time we spend picking apples, the less apples we get per hour. Um, in the overtime example, right, you actually get paid more per hour beyond a certain point. Another good example of, of uh, returns that are disproportionate would be uh, traffic in New York, okay, like super busy. If you increase the traffic by 10%, your travel time might increase by 50%, 100%, 150%, right? So you have to take that into account. And when you're, when you're looking at your business, you have to decide what time is worth the effort, right? If I double this, what happens over here? The binary returns. These are the things like the light switch. You flip it on, the light turns on, you're done, right? If you sit there and you push the light switch harder and harder and harder, it doesn't make more light, right? And a lot of us spend a lot of time with these things because we don't understand it's binary. It's yes or no, right? On, off, one, zero, whatever. And so what we're doing is, is we have these little, little quote unquote light switches in our business and they're on and we're still pushing harder and harder and harder and harder trying to get more, but it doesn't exist. The returns are not diminished. They're not proportional. They just don't exist. That is the place where we have the most room to save time, and energy, and money, right? So it's really, really important. And the whole point is, so when you go into something, say, okay, look, um, I'm gonna spend twice as much time calling prospects. I'm gonna spend twice as much time doing this. I'm gonna spend twice as much money doing this. You have to identify, are the returns, is this something that's gonna have proportional returns? Which means it's predictable. It's pretty much, we spend more, we make more across the board, right? Is it disproportionate? And if it is, is it favorable or is it unfavorable? Right, we need to know. Re diminished returns are still returns. So then we have to start weighing, are the diminished returns the best use of time and effort, right? These things get complicated, right? These are complex. Uh, that's an ongoing conversation, it changes all the time. This binary stuff, right? That binary stuff, is it on or is it off? Can't be optimized. Uh, you can't push it harder, you can't do less. Like these are the things we identify. Let's push the light switch, um, stuff like that.